And tonight's health ed psychologists in Utah are saying there's no way to hide your lying eyes. So they have developed a lie detector test that measures the truth by the look in your eyes. Researchers measured pupil dilation and response time, among other things. The theory is that lying requires more work than telling the truth, so the eyes can indicate if a person is working hard. Traditional polygraphs, on the other hand, measure a person's emotional response to what they're saying. And no wonder there were so many colds going around last winter. 25% of people observed in public did not cover their nose and mouth when they coughed or sneezed. And only 5% used a tissue or sneezed into their elbow as public health officials recommend. The most common response was to cover the mouth with the hands, a practice that can spread germs on touched surfaces. And menopause may be a good time to lose weight for women bothered by those hot flashes. New research shows that a loss of 7 to 9 percent of body weight in just six months can lead to permanent improvement in hot flashes. Now, we generally think of arsenic as poison, but the chemical shows promise as a cancer treatment as well. One form of arsenic has been used to help leukemia patients for more than a decade now. Well, now researchers are finding that combined with other therapies, arsenic might help fight other forms of cancer as well.